gracious day to you, beloved. And welcome to Daily Church with the Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional. This Saturday, the seventh day of December 2024. Let us pray. King of kings, Lord of lords, the ancient of days, the almighty, the one that was, is, and is to come, the everlasting King of glory, blessed be your holy name, Lord. Lord, be greatly magnified in the name of Jesus. We thank you for great and mighty things you have been doing for us and doing our lives and doing our behalves. Father, we are not of them that are in great. But this hour we return all thanks and glory unto you. Receive them of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, Lord, by your Spirit, teach us your word. Through this church, make your will and your mind known to us and help us to keep your word to the profiting of our lives, body, soul, and spirit, and even our eternity. Thank you, Father, because you've heard us. Thank you because you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, once again, you are welcome. Our topic for today's charge is stand up for your right. Stand up for your right. And our memory first is taken from the book of Luke, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 48. Luke 1, 48. For he hath regarded the low estate of his hand maiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall come in blessed. All generations shall call me blessed. <laughs> she said, the Lord had looked upon her with pity, with compassion, with kindness, with love, with mercy. The Lord has, had chosen her to his honor, notwithstanding her background, notwithstanding her meanness, notwithstanding her poverty, notwithstanding our obscurity as the least in our father's house. Just like Gideon, just like Saul. It is my prayer that God will remember somebody today from the value of life he will take you to the mountain top. God will regard your position. He will look upon you with mercy and compassion and will take you from where you are to where you ought to be in the name of Jesus. And as said, he put it one down, he reset another. From the valley of life, from the pit of life, God will raise you up in the name of Jesus. A motivational quote for today's chapter says, never insult a crocodile until you have crossed the river. Never underrate anyone. Never write off any child of God. Always obtain divine confirmation before throwing anyone away. This is eternal wisdom. And it is my prayer that by this wisdom, you will make your ways, your life, prosperous in the name of Jesus. The prophetic work for today is this. If you are supposed to be among the richest people, but for some strange reasons, you have been turned into a pauper, the power of the God of Elijah shall set you free. 
in the name of Jesus. Can I have a loud amen to that? Every way change in your life will be overturned. Every evil creation will be refast. The Lord God Almighty will restore you in the name of Jesus. And our first scripture for today's charge is taken from the book of Psalm, Psalm number 72, verse 9 through 18. I read, They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tashish and of the isles shall bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him, for he shall deliver the needy when he cried, the poor also, and him that hath no helper. He shall spare the poor and needy, and shall save the souls of the needy. He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And he shall live, and to him shall be given of the good of Sheba, of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. Verse 16, There shall be an handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass, like grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun, as the sun and men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Last verse, verse 18, Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone doeth wonders. Blessed be God, the Lord God of Israel, who alone doeth wonders. God can do the impossible. He is the one that brings it, that takes the poor from the dung hill and raise him up to go and meet up with princes to go and level up with princes to go and measure up it is to this god you have been drawn the god of this mountain the god of the bible he will regard your estate your low estate today and he will promote you by fire I pray for you. If your background has put your back on the ground, the God who dwelt at sin will restore you, set you on your feet, and give your destiny the wings of the eagle so you can fly to your mountain top. I pray for you. Even as you stand Stand for your right as you take your place in Christ. As you explore the possibilities of the grace of Jesus. As you arise and shake yourself from the dust, you will arise and shine in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that has been pressing your head down shall lose strength, shall lose anointing, shall lose unction, shall lose mandate. By the power of the God of Elijah, you'll be able to raise your head in Jesus' mighty name. Stand up for your right. Beloved, we are going to go for a short break now. And when we come back, we shall continue in today's church. Please stay with us. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. 
The Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back, beloved. This is this daily church, this seventh day of December 2024. Stand up for your right. Stand up for your right. Beloved, anything contrary to God's instruction that you allow to flourish over a long time in your life may end up becoming what you will eventually suffer from. If you allow what should not, you will suffer for it. Our, our Father in the Lord always says, what do you do not tolerate cannot operate. So, whatever negative thing, ungodly thing, demonic thing that you allow to operate in your to, to operate in your life, we continue operating. The weakness or the sin of tolerance is a very serious one. Say no to what should not be. Say no. If God has not written anything and the devil is writing and enforcing, you have the authority in Christ Jesus to say no. Whatever you do not give permission to operate in your life cannot operate. Even Jesus said, Behold, I wait at the door of your I knock. So whatever you do not give permission to operate, cannot operate in your life. You must come up with a holy rebellion against satanic work so as to recover your right. Holy rebellion. It is allowed. In fact, you need it. You need it. God will always do his own part. As far as your destiny, your life is concerned. And you know the devil cannot stop God. But the devil can stop you from getting what God has for you. So if God is doing his own part, the devil is always doing his own part, why will you not do your own part? If you cooperate with God, then you will make the work of the devil difficult or impossible in your life. But if you cooperate with the devil, God cannot force anything on you. That is why he gives you free will and free choice. Our Father God also always says, slaves who love their chain will remain in bondage. They will remain in bondage. This is a type of rebellion that is good. Only rebellion. Re rebel against oppression. Rebel against affliction. Rebel, rebel against poverty. Rebel against all forms of satanic stratagem directed against you. Re rebel, revolt. Let only anger rise from inside of you. Don't take no for answer. No. This is the right kind of rebellion. On the other hand, we have negative rebellion that we should not engage in. Like the experience that we had during our school days, during a particular time, some of my colleagues decided to stage a coup against one student teacher. 
My protest against the coup did not count as I was voted out. In those days, when student teachers were on teaching practice, their inspectors sometimes stood by the window of their classroom to observe how they were carrying out their duties. The visiting inspector this time was a white man. The mis mischievous students got unruly towards the student, student teacher and embarrassed him in the presence of the white male inspector. The other sang, we do not want him, he should go. All we are saying, he must go. All we are saying is he must go. That is what is called demonic rebellion. Do not be part of it, do not engage in it. We are not talking about this type of rebellion, but of the one that is targeted at satanic works. At satanic works. There was a song I grew up to know in the village. Uh, the devil cannot build his house near God's house. If he does it, we will pull it down. <laughs> so they call it If he build it, we will pull it down. We will demolish it. That is what is needed. Whatever you do not tolerate cannot operate. And that is why you must say no to satanic contentment. Satanic satisfaction, satanic this kind of satanic patient that people have. Tolerating evil, forbearing with evil. Say no to it. Stand up for your right. When you are constantly getting worried about particular, a particular problem, it shows that you are the servant of the problem. Instead of getting worried, get angry against it. Do something. It's made the problem has become your, your master. If you are feeling that a situation will never come to an end, then you have become the servant of that situation. As a child of God, anything that has a beginning must have an end. It is only our God that remains. The Bible says, everyone and nature pass away. Not the word of God, not God. Your problem had a problem or has a problem. It must surely have an expiry date. Get angry against that problematic situation. If you are involved, involved in ungodly things, the problem has become your master. You have a challenge. You are trying to solve a problem by going to the devil, by trying satanic means. By then, the problem has become a master to you. God is the one now sending you on errand to, to wrong places. Troubling you up and down. Some people come for prayers, but when the desired solution does not come as quickly as they engage, they backslide. The truth is that the problem has become their master and they have become the servant, their leader. You have to carry out a spiritual rebellion today. You must overthrow every evil king in charge of any problem in your life. How do you de do it? By disagreeing with the obstacles that you have been accommodating for long. By throwing away all the excuses you have been given all this while. By rising against every oppression, every oppressor. By rising against. Get empowered. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. The Bible says, humble yourself under the mighty heart of God. Then resist the devil. When you resist, what will he do? He will flee. You are the one magnifying your problem, magnifying your enemy. Disagree. Holy rebellion, holy disagreement, holy anger. You must stand up for your right today. Now is the time to rule in the midst of your enemies. It is time. Some of what some people have magnified their problem. They have now even become the problem. We, are, we serve the God of all possibilities. The unchanging changer. Who will change your situation today? But arise. Stand for your rights. 
when we come back from this short break, we'll bring this church to a close. Thank you for staying with us. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available, Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Beloved, you are welcome back to the conclusion of today's charge. You still stand up for your right. Do not resign to faith, to faith. Arouse, arouse, arouse your faith and do not res resign to faith, F-A-T-E. Let your faith, F-A-I-T-H, let your faith rise. You can do it. You are wired to overcome. You are wired to rise from minimum to maximum. You are wired to, to, to rise from obscurity to limelight. You are wired to rise from nobody to somebody. That is how God has wired you. Do not condemn yourself. Do not sentence yourself to a life of wretchedness, life of meanness, lowness. No. Stand for your light. The Bible says, Arise and shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Your light has come, the glory of God has risen. But it is your duty to do what? To arise. Then you will shine. So, even though your light has come, the glory of God has written over you. If you refuse to arise, then there will be no shining. I pray for somebody. Because you have been connected to the grace of God through this church today, you will arise from every obscurity. From that room of darkness, room, that room of battle, God will bring you out by fire. In the name of Jesus. Beloved, I want you to pray for prayer, some prayers before I pray for you. And as you pray them, the God of this mountain will answer by fire. Say this loud and clear after me. Say, every altar giving sickness to my life be broken. In the name of Jesus, every altar giving sickness to my life be broken. In the name of Jesus, every altar giving sickness to my life be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is broken. Amen. Pray the second one louder and more aggressively. Say, satanic agenda for my life and destiny. Be aborted by fire. In the name of Jesus, satanic agenda for my life and destiny, be aborted by fire. In the name of Jesus, satanic agenda for my life and destiny, be aborted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, satanic agenda for my life and destiny, be aborted by fire, be aborted by fire, be aborted by fire, be aborted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have 
prayed. Amen. Pray this one also with same aggression. Say, I shall not be numbered among the wasted. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be numbered among the wasted. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be numbered among the wasted. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be numbered among the wasted. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be numbered among the wasted. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be numbered among the wasted. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be numbered among the wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not be numbered among the wasted. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. And lastly, pray this one. Say, I move into my promised land by fire. In the name of Jesus, I move into my promised land by fire. In the name of Jesus, I move into my promised land by fire. I move into my promised land by fire. I move into my promised land by fire. In the name of Jesus, I move into my promised land by fire. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. I give you a prophetic push into your promised land. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. Power to overcome every force assigned to shortchange you or that is shortchanging you. Receive that power now. In the name of Jesus, overcome that power now. In the name of Jesus, move from spiritual slavery and oppression. Bribe the power in the name of Jesus to the dimension of dominion. In Christ Jesus, thank you, Father. As you stand for your right, possess your possession by fire. In the name of God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we are blessed. Thank you for being part of today's church. Enjoy the rest of the day and stay forever blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.